September 2014, Prague, Czech Republic. Maria has an important meeting in 15 minutes. She calls a taxi. But the trip took a lot longer than expected. She was late and upset. She hears about the new ride-sharing app called Uber from a co-worker. She installs it immediately and was dazzled by the ETA accuracy. The time estimated to travel from point A to point B is called the expected time of arrival, ETA. Uber computes ETA in four scenarios. Eyeball, when the rider enters a destination in the app. Dispatch, to find a car to pick up the rider in the shortest waiting time. Pick up, to find the time needed to pick up the rider. On trip, to provide live updates on time to reach the destination. A single trip usually takes around 1,000 ETA requests, yet computing ETA is a difficult problem because the distance between the source and destination is not a straight line. Instead, it consists of complex street networks and highways. The smart engineers at Uber use simple ideas to solve this difficult problem. Here's how Uber computes ETA accurately at extreme scales. They represent the physical map as a graph. Every road intersection is modelled as a node, while every road segment is modelled as a directed edge. So computing ETA becomes finding the shortest path in a directed weighted graph. Dijkstra's algorithm is known for finding the shortest path in a graph. But the time complexity of Dijkstra's algorithm is O, N, log N and n is the number of road intersections or nodes in the graph. San Francisco Bay Area alone has half a million road intersections, so Dijkstra's algorithm is not enough at Uber's scale. So they partitioned the graph and then pre-computed the best path within each partition. Thus, interacting with boundaries of graph partitions is enough to find the best path. Imagine a dense graph mapped to a circle. Every single node in the circle must be traversed to find the best path between two points. So, time complexity would be the area of the circle, pi times r to the power of 2, while partitioning and pre-computing make it more efficient. It becomes possible to find the best path by interacting with only the nodes on the circle boundary. So, time complexity would be the perimeter of the circle, 2 times pi times r. Put another way, time complexity to find the best path in the San Francisco Bay Area gets reduced from 500,000 to 700. The traffic on the road segments must be considered to find the fastest path between two points. While traffic is a function of the time of the day, weather and number of vehicles on the road, they use traffic information to populate the edge weights of the graph because it makes the ETA more accurate. Besides, they combined aggregated historical speed information with real-time speed information, because extra traversal data makes traffic information more accurate. GPS signals can get noisy and sparse, especially when the vehicle enters a tunnel. Also, the multipath effect could worsen the GPS signal. The multipath effect occurs when buildings reflect the GPS signal. A poor GPS signal decreases the ETA accuracy. So, they do map matching to find the best ETA. Map matching works by mapping raw GPS signals to actual road segments. They use the Kalman filter for map matching. It takes GPS signals and matches them to road segments. Imagine the Kalman filter as a person who makes a correct guess about something's location. The new and old information is taken into consideration for guessing. Besides, they use the Viterbi algorithm to find the most probable road segments. It's a dynamic programming approach. Imagine the Viterbi algorithm as a person who figures out the correct story even if some words were spelled wrong. They do that by looking at the nearby words and fixing the mistakes so that the story makes more sense. 
A rider is likely to avoid future trips if the actual trip time is higher than ETA. Also, more than 18 million Uber trips are completed daily, so at Uber's scale, a bad ETA could cost them billions of US dollars in loss. The current approach allowed them to scale half a million requests per second.